Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start out by apologizing and saying that this vlog is going to be all over the place because that's how this week has been. So there's been a lot of good. Um, there's also been some not good um, that's happened this week. So I want to start out by kind of sharing what happened today. There is a young woman who was part of the Miss Wheelchair Tennessee organization, and she was also part of the Able Youth Program. Um, and if you guys follow my videos, you know that both of those programs are really important to me. I had the honor of watching this young woman basically grow up from age three on, and um, I got word tonight that she passed today. So to Savannah's family, please know that you're in our thoughts and prayers. Um, she will never be forgotten. She was such a bright light in our community. And, um, I feel really, really lucky to have been somebody that got to watch her grow up. So just know that you all are in my thoughts and prayers and she will be very, very missed. On the same note with Savannah, um, I was planning on actually making this a completely different video in itself. I was super, super excited. Um, but in light of um, the news about Savannah, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys. I was really excited because for the past year, I've been keeping from you all that I was um, going to become the new um, state coordinator for the Miss Wheelchair Tennessee program. And while that transition did happen this week, Getting the word of Savannah has made it very, very bittersweet. Um, I'm really, really excited about the future of the program, but at the same time, Savannah, I really, truly saw her being part of the future and coming back to end of the program and hopefully competing for Miss one day. And so just on a personal note and just watching her grow up and hearing of her passing today is, is, it's just been very hard to process. Um, I don't really have the right words, but, um, she will be missed and she will forever be thought of as part of the Miss Wheelchair family. Um, she was a little miss for Miss Wheelchair Tennessee, um, for two different years and, um, it was just really awesome to see her grow up, but as the new state coordinator. It's just really hard to share um, news like that when she was a part of the program. So um, that's not at all how I expected to announce this new transition for myself, but this is just what feels right right now. And honestly, it's part of the legacy of the program. Um, you know, we have the privilege of watching women come and go in all different ways through this program. And unfortunately, this is just one of those things that, that happens. And um, anyway, she she will be so missed. And um, she definitely left an impact on me. I'll never forget watching her um, grow up in the program and, and just watching her turn into an adult um, kind of right in front of my eyes. Her mom has always been just a huge encourager to me and... Um, her and her mom both have just, once you met them, you would never forget them. They're both just amazing people. So, um, again, my heart is with her mom and the rest of her family and everything. Um, moving on, um, I am really, really, really excited about the future of the Miss Wheelchair Tennessee program. Again, definitely not how I thought I'd be announcing this. Um, but I have a lot of really, really big plans for the future. So, that's my big news for the year, you guys, on that. Today was really bittersweet again. Um, I have been all over the place this week, you guys. I have, like, cried happy tears, sad tears, overwhelmed tears. Like, every <laughs> version of tears I think you can cry, I've cried this week. At the same time, today has also been really unusual on a personal level for my family. Um, today was the third anniversary of my grandfather passing. Um, if you've followed my journey, um, and have read my blogs, you know that him passing was very difficult. It's still difficult. I'm learning the process of still, you know, even three years later, 
Um, but I did pay him a visit. I know he still watches over me all the time. He reminds me constantly. Uh, but today was kind of cool in the fact that it lined up with the fact that the family's farm is going up for auction. So are a lot of the belongings that belong to my great aunt, who is still around, but she doesn't live on our property anymore, which is part of why we were ready to sell the farm. I feel really weird about it. I'm super sentimental. If you know me, you, you guys know, like everything is sentimental to me. Um, and actually, even though Wes and I have been together for 12 years, um, he had never really seen the property and he's heard me talk about it off and on my whole life. I, <laughs> um, I just have a lot of memories to it. Everything from <laughs> almost lighting my little brother on fire when he was a newborn with a sparkler to there's this beautiful old magnolia tree that made me fall in love with magnolia trees and is the reason I want one in my own yard now. And, you know, memories of just eating ice cream on one of the porches at this house and just, just kind of going back through all the rooms and, and reliving some of the memories of, of when I grew up, you know, as a little girl. And, and there's even video somewhere out there of when I first really uh, was learning to walk. There's video of me walking outside on one of the sidewalks at this house. And so there's just a lot of really, really early memories that I actually have of this house. And um, I'm just, I'm a big old baby when it comes to this stuff and see these things. Um, moving on to new family, you know, it's, it's, it's bittersweet. And um, I really, really hope that the, you know, the family that, that, gets it or whoever buys it um will enjoy it and know that they're a part of a really cool history i mean this house um was a place where soldiers came together and had meals together and um i think that makes the history of this house even cooler because these soldiers were fighting a war and still managed to come together and sit at dinner together, which is pretty cool. Um, and this house was a part of it. And the property is just, it's awesome. It's beautiful and country and um, just has some really, really cool barns and buildings. And just the history is sentimental to me too because there's just so many moments that I had growing up. So anyway, moving on to the final thing. If you guys have... Um, Watch my other videos. You've seen my TSA Cares video, and you have probably also seen the video that I've done with my mom. Okay, so there's a reason that I'm mentioning both of these together because they kind of go hand in hand in this case. Uh, but basically, the TSA Cares video was one of the earliest videos that I had in mind when I was starting my channel. I just felt like there was a need for it and all of that. So that's one of the first like bigger videos that I put together. Um, anyway, so I have actually stayed in touch with um, one of the girls that you see in the video that was part of um, TSA Cares. And so we, we've stayed friends and we've uh, stayed in each other's lives. We've kept each other in the loop on, you know, life updates and all of that. So, um, you know, she's really just watched my journey unfold. I've stayed in the loop with what's going on in her, her life. And we've just become really good friends, um, you know, in the process. So she messaged me the other night um, and said, hey, I have a friend who um, I want to connect you with uh, through email. It's like, okay, cool. I go and I check my email and I was not prepared to read this message, um, but in a really good way. Um, basically, her friend... Uh, just found out that she's going to have a little girl with spina bifida. And if you know anything about my story, um, you know that that's what I was born with. Um, and I mentioned my mom because my mom and I did a video on that very thing, parenting um, a child with a disability and kind of the struggles uh, that come with that. And I uh, just talked about how we got through it. And it's really interesting to first of all, have 
the TSA video lead to this uh, conversation that I had today with this mom, but ultimately it did because um, without meeting um, Loretta from the TSA Cares video, she would have known to connect me with this mom. And it's just, it's one of those moments that was very, very, very meant to be. And I kind of don't feel like I talk about the meant to be moments enough in life. Um, I used to a lot on my website and my blogs, but I really don't tie it in enough on to my channel. And this was just a perfect opportunity. But so anyway, basically the mom uh, just found out that she's going to have a little girl with spina bifida. And Loretta just really wanted to connect me with her because she knew that I'm connected to the community. I'm sure she felt like I would give her some sort of wisdom. I don't know if I have or not, but either way, it was really, really interesting to connect with a mom um, so early on in her pregnancy and just to hear even how technology has changed for how they can... Um, detect spina bifida early because when I was born and if you go back and watch the video um, that my mom and I did together they couldn't predict it back then <laughs> I'm almost 35 and that was not part of the technology and so um, I even learned a little bit in this conversation with this mom today but um, more importantly you know we just had a really really good heart to heart we talked a lot about her hopes and dreams for the future for her daughter and um, we talked about just some of the hurdles I went through, some of the things that can hopefully help her daughter in the future. Um, there are a lot of unknowns. I don't want to go into like all the details of that conversation, except to say that that was just an awesome conversation. And I feel like connecting with Loretta from TSA Cares um, was very meant to be in this case because it brought me to this mom and brought this or brought this mom to me. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it, really, I feel like. But um, regardless, I'm actually really proud of, of this mom because she's already being proactive for her daughter. And I just think that's a really beautiful thing to just already hear how much love she has for her daughter and to feel it even just through a phone call and through the text. And um, just getting to connect with her, I'm really, really, really excited um, for her family and, um, just to be on the front end of her story as a person, maybe not everyone would have this perspective, but I'm actually really, really, really happy to be a part of her, um, spina bifida journey and to see, um, how her story unfolds. It was just one of those moments that I, wasn't really sure how much I wanted to share and I'm, I'm not out of respect to her. Like, uh, I think it's only right to, um, just see how this story really unfolds, but, um, it was too good of a meant to be moment that I just, I had to share with permission, of course, with the mom and everything, but I am really, really hopeful for the future. And, um, so if you're watching this and you are either a parent with spina bifida or an adult with spina bifida, or you have any sort of knowledge or wisdom or insight that you think could help this family, leave it in the comments below because one of my goals right now, because I feel like she was led to me for a reason, is to connect her with resources other than myself. Um, obviously, I can only share so much of, of uh, what to expect. And so I would just love to connect her with this community. So if you have anything that you could share with her in the comments below, please do so. I know she's going to watch this video and we're both just really excited to see this all unfold and um, to watch her little girl grow up. So, you know, just leave some encouraging comments, even if you don't have advice. Um, if you're maybe a parent, you know, take disability out of it. Give her your best parenting advice you've got. She does have a little boy, um, so she's already done this before. This is just uh an extra little step she's going to be going through. And I know she's scared. I know that um, there's a lot of unknowns, obviously, with disability kind of coming into play. But I'm super, super hopeful for the future of this little girl and her family. And um, I feel really, really honored to get to watch this whole story unfold. And um, it was a very meant-to-be situation 
and I'm really, really happy that I get to share this a little bit on my channel, and who knows, maybe you guys will get to be on the journey um, with us. We shall see. So that has been my week. It's definitely been a crazy week. Obviously, not everything was great, um, but I am super, super, super hopeful for um, the future for a lot of these things, this family and their little girl that's coming, and really just the future of the Miss Wheelchair Tennessee program on a personal level and just the growth for the program itself. If you know me really well, you know that this is something that was really, really hard for me to keep secret about for over a year, but I wanted to wait for the right time out of respect to um, the coordinator that uh, just stepped down. She did an awesome job and I just really, really wanted her to decide when the time was right uh, for this chapter to be public and everything. So that is why I have been quiet. I have known about this for a while um, and I have been excited about it for even longer. You know, this is something that I've talked about, dreamed about, thought about, hoped for half my life, probably longer. Um, you know, when I was first junior, when I was 16, I'm almost 35. It's kind of crazy, but I'm really, really excited to see this program grow. And I'm really, really, really excited that I actually get to be a part of hopefully moving it forward and, um, taking on this new role. I mean, this is a nonprofit and I get to be in charge, but no, I'm super, super excited. This program means so much to me. Um, and honestly, I would not be able to do any of this without, um, the awesome board of directors that's going to be, you know, behind me on everything, obviously Wes and, um, just my friends and family that have supported me and have been, uh, secretly excited with me, um, as they've waited for me to make this announcement too. Again, I, I don't really want to make this video about all of that, but, I would be lying if I said I wasn't super, super excited for the future and um, everything that's going to come with, I hope, the growth of this program. So, um, yeah, you guys, I can't wait uh, to see what's up ahead with all of this. So, I'm going to end here. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're having a great weekend. And um, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time that I make a new video. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.